Okay, so this looks like uh, working out the segment area. Let's have a go. The diagram shows a circle with center 0, radius 5. So I'm just going to put 5 there too. Okay, the chord P to Q is 8. Calculate the area of the shaded segment. Now, before we start anything like this, we need to know what this angle, I'm going to call that theta is. <coughs> okay. Uh, without that without that angle, we can't do anything, to be honest. So, what we can do is, we now can, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw that, I know it doesn't look as great as that one. That's 5. That's 5. I'll call that angle theta. And I know that is 8. Now, when you've got three sides and you're finding the angle, that is cosine rule. Okay, you should know that by now. That is cosine rule. You haven't got a pair, so cosine rule. Uh, so this is the angle I'm going to use, and this is the side opposite. So that acts as your a and a squared. Angle a and a squared. When I refer to angle a and a squared, that's the cosine rule saying a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos angle a. So this a I'm referring to as 8. That's being squared. And these two sides are... Now... I mean, I've, I've put it in like that, but that's not the formula I need. Okay, that's one part of the formula, but because I'm working at the angle, when you rearrange this, you you should get the other formula, which is the angle formula. This is for a side. The angular formula is cos A is equal to B squared plus C squared. So that goes to there, that comes from there, so that becomes a minus, and then you divide it by 2BC. So this is the formula you want, which is for the angular angle, and this is the formula for missing side. So again, those are the angles that is going to act as a angle A, and that's going to act as side A. So that becomes um, cos theta <coughs> equals five squared plus five squared minus eight squared, all over two times five times five. Now I'm just going to put that in my calculator straight away. I've got the fraction button there, so I put 5 squared plus 5 squared minus 8 squared all over uh, 2550. And I'll get cos theta equals to minus 7 over 25. And then I take the, because I want to find the angle, I always take the inverse of this function by pressing shift on my calculator. So I'll get theta equals shift cos uh, answer, and you should get 106.3 degrees. Okay, I'm going to put a line down here, because we've done the hardest bit, to be honest with you. That's the toughest bit, is finding that angle. This is the easy bit. Um, to find a segment, area segment, the formula, area of segment, is equal to um, area of sector subtract area of this triangle. So literally just gonna put the numbers in now. Area of sector, that's the degrees, so that's gonna give me 106.3 over 360 times by pi r squared pi and r is 5, that's 5 squared. So that's pi r squared is a full circle, but I want that fraction, which is 106 over 3, 160. And then once I've worked that out, I'm going to take off the area of the triangle. Now, area of any non right angle triangle is half a, b, sine c. So that's going to be a half. Now, it's a, b is the two sides. And C, angle C is the angle between them. So that's going to be 5 times 5, which is 5 squared, times sine. And the angle is, between those radiuses, is 106.3. So I literally could just put this. I've done all the steps. Um, you could just put that straight into the calculator. And I think that would be enough working out there to tell the examiner you know what you're doing. But I'm just going to put the extra steps in. So that will give me 
23.191 etc and I'm going to put uh, 0.5 times 5 squared times sine 106.3 that's going to give me 11. Point, uh, actually 99.7 which is going to give me when I round it to so many decimal places it's going to give me 12 so if I take that from 23.191 I'm going to get 11.193 um, etc. You could round that to three single figures 11.2. Don't forget the units. It's a shaded region so it's going to be centimeter squared. Okay.